Hello there, happy Monday. I'm Pam Sherman. We are gonna do a 30 minute body weight workout. You need a chair and a mat. I have my chair on the mat so it doesn't slide. But let's get warmed up first. Let's march out. It's gonna be a fun one today. Hope you like it. More and more like that. I want you nice and tall. Always think about your posture. Head, neck, spine in a nice straight line. Great big deep breath in right here. Let's do it again. Nice and tall. Keep that core tight. Two more like that. Two more. That's it. Last one. Step touch right and left right here. Nice and tall, straight, strong limbs. Yep. I want nice straight arms like spaghetti noodles, not wiggly noodles like that. Straight, strong arms. Last four. Last three. Two hamstring curl right here. I want you to bend your knees, reach, and pull with your arms. Again, keeping that core nice and tight. You're always purposeful in your actions, in your movements. There's three. A little squat right and left right here. What I want to work on today, head to toe. Strength, balance, and core. All in about 25 minutes, because I always like to leave firm at the end stretch. Let's go four more like that. We have a little bicep curl. There's three, two, hold it here. Just give me a little pulse. Like, you just can't have a pulse. Still getting warmed up. The warm up gets us ready for the work ahead. Let's go four more like that. There's three, two, singles down up. Oh, what? How are you today? There's three, nice, nice, nice. Two, now I want you to step out, up and hold. Tap down, you need to. Hold, three, two, squat this way. Hold it up. Adding that balance into our warm up. Four, three, two, let's go this way. Squat, hold it up right here. Nice, three, two, let's do it again. One of my clients just fell putting on socks and cracked her rib. I will always work on balance in our workouts. One more time each way. So important, especially as we get older, Three, two, last one right here. Hold it up, hold it up. Good. Four, three, two, little pulse right here. Let's go back to the pulse. There's four, three, two, hold it here, hold it here. Goal post arms, squeeze, bring it up. We're in maybe a quarter squat. Should not be hard at all. Want to warm up everything head to toe. Good. Now reach up overhead right here. Reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. Think about the big muscles in your back. There we go. Three, two, back to the chest press right here. Did you come out of your squat? I was coming out of my squat a little bit. I just want your toes up in your shoes in that little half squat. Four more here. Four, three, nice, two, Reach up right here, last time. Up, squeeze those lats. Up, good work, four more like that, four more. Four, three, there's two. One, give me a pulse right here, right here. Almost there, we'll do a little back stretch and then we're going singles just for four. Four, good. Hang in there with me. Two, hold it here. Hands on your quads, arch it back right here. Arch, bring it up. Arch, bring it up. Here's four. Here's three. Two. Look over one shoulder right here. And switch sides. Do it again, do it again. We're gonna do it two more times each way because it feels so good. One more time right here. Down to the center for two right here. Down. Down, roll it up. Down, roll it up slowly. Okay, we're gonna start literally with squats in the chair. I want to get right in front of the chair. I'm gonna go over just a little bit so I'm in the middle. But I just might, uh, with the floor being tall, I don't want my chair to slip and me to fall down. So it's nice and steady. Go down for two, tap your butt just on the edge and come right back up. Here we go. Down. Cool tap, guess what? That makes you do a perfect squat. Now, chest up facing me. 
I don't want you like this. No, no, eyes up, shoulders back, chest up. In fact, if you can get your toes up in the shoes, that would be amazing. Down, bring it down. Four more like that, four more. How do you feel? Hopefully great and strong since we're just getting started. Two more right here. Then we're gonna hold it right above the chair. Hold it here, hold it here. Little pulse, you can tap that chair every time or just stay right above it. Quads are on fire, mine too. Four more, then we're gonna take a seat. Three, two, take a seat. Okay, that's it, done for the day. No, of course not. We're gonna do tricep dips. How great is that upper and lower combo? My favorite way to work out. Come out from the chair, come down for two. Now, I know you really can't see yourself, but I want you to think about your elbows going straight behind you, not out to the side. So not out here, straight behind you. Hang on, come up with me. There we go. Back, get back on the beat. Straight behind you. We're going to go four or more, and then we'll go back to the squats. Here's four. The squats really are warm up for something that's a little bit more fun. I'm not going to give away the surprise though. One more right here. Come up and have a seat. Shake out those arms. Okay. Toes up in your shoes, all the way to your heels. We're going to up for three, down for one. Here we go. Up, two, three, little tap. Up, two, three, little tap. Up, two, three. That's it. Nice work. It's fun to change the cadence. It just mixes things up. Now, stay up here. Down for three. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bring it right back up. How does that feel? Different? It does feel different. Remember, toes up in your shoes. Squeeze your butt on the way up. Beautiful work. Four more, then we'll do another set of dips. Here's four. And we're going down for three. Two more like that. Here's two. One more right here. Hold it there. Low pulse just for four. Four, three, two, have a seat. You know what's coming next. Those steps, remember, elbows are not here. Straight behind you. It's for to get rid of the bat wings. Well, that and a great diet, of course, but this strengthens the back part of your arm. Let's go a little harder. Three to one, here we go. Three, two, one, bring it right back up. Hello, triceps, how are you today? Here's three, two, one. When you get tired, don't stop, keep going. Three, you're stronger than you know. Oh my gosh, you totally are. Let's go three more like that. Here's three. Keep going, breathe out on the way up. One more here. Three, two, one, come on up. Have a seat. Here's the fun part. We're gonna do one leg get ups. And if you have to tap down, totally fine. You're gonna lift one leg up and stand up. You can put it down, sit back down. Let's stay on the same leg, probably like 100 or so. No. One leg is gonna be easier than the other. And if these are hard for you, this would be something to incorporate into your workouts. It works on balance and single leg strength. You might be uh, saying damn Pam right about now. Awesome. I'll take that. You can go as fast as you want on these, but it does take a lot of strength from that one leg. We'll go one more and then we'll switch sides. Please don't just sit down and watch. Please do it with me. Here we go. One side is gonna be a little stronger, so it might be a little bit more wobbly. On one side, that's totally normal. <sighs> yep, I'm breathing hard too. These are no easy feet. Again, just like the squat, think about pressing through that heel. Not from your toe. Just three more. There's three. There's two. Nice work. There's one. Shake it out. Now, I want you on the chair, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn to the side. Uh, think about mountain climbers. 
but we're gonna be elevated mountain climbers and we're actually gonna come, we're gonna do a little twist, twist. So your hands are right under your shoulders like this and your body's in a nice straight line like a plank. Let's get set up. Okay, one at a time, here we go. Twist, so your knee is going to the outside of the opposite elbow or whatever, however close you can get to it. This is a great shoulder strength for and oblique exercise. We have eight more. Breathe out every time that knee comes across. Last two right here. Here's two, one. We get to do the one leg get ups again. You didn't think we were doing just one set, did you? No, it doesn't matter what leg you start. Here we go. Just like anything else, the more you do these, the easier they get. Breathe for me. Your breath helps also keeping nice and tight in that core, helps your balance, truly it does. Tighten up the area right on your belly button. That'll help you get up. We're gonna do just do one more on the side. No matter what, be kind to yourself. You're taking this time for you, which is great. Every minute you spend on yourself and your health, totally worth it. Even if you can't get up without touching, great. You'll do better next time. We are all a work in progress. One of my, my mind was is progress, not perfection. Nobody's perfect. Maybe your pet is. That could be the truth, but Work out wise, we all have things we can work on, myself included. Two more, just like that, two more. And then we'll go back to the cross obliques. One more right here. Okay, turn that chair around. Put your hands are right under your shoulders. Body is in a nice straight line. There we go. I want you to think about your form. Let's pull that core nice and tight. Head and neck, spine a nice straight line. Try not to drop your head. So you're looking at the back of the chair. And you're breathing every time that you guys cross. Breathe out. There's so two for one exercise. Two for one. You got four and you got shoulder. Four more on each side. Here's three. Two more right here. Two more. Here's two. One more. Some more balance. Come back here. I want your left hand behind your back. I'll come right here so I'm going to be closer to you. It's not going to slip. Left hand behind your back. Right foot back. Right hand forward. Come down. Touch the chair. Come back up. Come on down. Now, you want to think of not using momentum. So we want to stay on the slower side. Your cardio, you can go as fast as you want. Strength, balance, slower. We'll engage your muscles more. Yes, that was a weird sound, I know. And not use momentum. We don't want to use momentum anytime we're doing balance work. We're gonna do two more. We're gonna hold that second one. We gotta challenge ourselves every time we move. Okay, come on down. I don't want you to touch. Reach that leg back as long as you can. Four, three, I know it's a long four. Two, and one, come on up. Low hamstring, how are you today? Let's switch, right hand behind your body. Left hand front, left leg back. Here we go. Slow and control, slow and control. You can tap down as much as you need to. Please don't fall over. If you do catch yourself, please don't go to the ground. Slow and controlled. And you're breathing, right? Don't hold your breath. Nice and tight in your core right here. You're gonna do two more before I hold it. Here's two. Okay, we're holding it right above that chair. Hold 
we can stretch that leg out as far as you can. Three, three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's come one more time each way because, because we can. Right foot, right hand out. Here we go. Now when you come up, if your balance was great, let's bring your knee up. Let's add that little extra challenge. Again, we're going as slow as we can. If your balance is not great, you're going to come up and tap down. Different levels for everybody. Come down. Right, maybe you start with your arm up before you bring that knee up. We've got what levels of progress here. A little extra challenge right here. Let's just do one more. You're gonna go to your hardest. Whatever your hardest is, hold, hold, hold. Three, two, and one. Great job, great job, seriously, great job. Last time, all levels, ready? Here we go. Slow and control. First level, just tap, not just, tap that foot down. Second level. Come up, maybe with that toe off the ground. Third level. Come up with that knee up. Do whatever is best for you. Everybody's at a different level. No comparing. Remember, comparison is a killer joy. We don't want that. And I think I said it before, but one side is always better balanced than the other. My left. My first side was way better than this side. Very wiggling on the side. That was totally normal. We're gonna do one more. Okay. Hold it right here. Hold, 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 hold. Last four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, shake it out. We're gonna do actually a quick hamstring stretch right here. Foot on the chair, lean and reach. Oh my goodness, your hamstrings are thanking you so much. We'll do a stretch at the end, but just because those are so hamstring intensive, just do a little quick, oh, thank you. Thank you, your hamstrings are saying. Let's come up and switch sides right here. We are going to get on the ground after this. Okay, we do not need a chair, but I'm gonna put it over to the side. Down a little bit. Okay, okay. Now we've done so much lower body. Let's get some great upper body work in. We're gonna start with a plank. If you have bad wrists, let's go elbow plank. If not, here's where I want your hands. See where your shoulders are? Not out here right below your shoulders. Let's get set up. Hands right to your shoulders. Now, just like the last exercise, there's a whole different levels. Level one would be with both knees down. Level two would be with one knee up. Level three with both knees up. Or, you run your elbows doing the same thing. If you have bad wrists, we're only gonna hold it for eight minutes. We're not going for eight minutes. Okay, hands right under your shoulders. Get to whatever level works for you. Come on up and don't hold your breath. Breathe out. Tighten up your glutes. Tighten up your quads. See my back is around. You can feel it. So a nice straight line from your head all the way down to your feet. Hold. Come on. We got this. There's four, three, two. Knees down. Come on down and shake it out. That was great. Let's do the same thing on each side. Again, you can be on your elbow if you have bad wrists. If not, come up on your hand. Now, I don't want your body crunched up like this. Body's going to be in a nice straight line. Level one would be here. Level two would be here. Level three is going to be here. Whatever works for you is great. I just want you to make sure your elbow or your hand is right under your shoulder. Once it's there, then you can get to whatever level works for you. This is a level two. This is a level two. Whatever works for you. I'm just gonna sit here like this one. 
and breathe. And you might be shaking a little bit. Me too. Just so you know. And you're breathing. We're gonna hold it for five more seconds. That's it. She can. Oh my gosh, she totally can. No. Let's shake that out. Switch sides. Remember, most important, hand right under that shoulder. If not, it really hurts your shoulder. I don't want that to happen ever. Once you get set up, you can have both knees, one leg out, or I like this one. I like this one best today. This should be a nice straight line from your hand that's above your head down to your wrist, and a straight line from your head all the way down to your feet. Form is everything. Lift that hip up just a little bit higher because you can. We're gonna hold this for five more seconds. You're a rocky star. You totally can. Three, two, one. Come on down. Let's shake it out. One more time, regular plank, and then we'll flip over on our backs for some core to finish up. Wear your hands right below your shoulders. Remember, both knees, one knee, or both knees up. Whatever level works for you, please get there. Breathe for me. Okay, here we go. Think if I was holding your stick on your head, protect your head and your butt, and probably your knees, because you're a nice straight line. And you're breathing, tighten up your glutes, tighten up your core, tighten up your quads. We're gonna hold it for 10 more seconds. Breathe deeply in the right here, last five, because we can. Three, two, and one. Oh, great job, great job. Let's get on our backs. Okay, hands to your knees, or an extend both. If you have a bad back, please leave a foot up on by my cat. Please leave one foot on the ground. We're gonna extend, we're gonna go out for two, in for two. Ready, here we go. Out, out, in, touch. Lead out with your heels. That's it, out, out. Who doesn't love a little pet photo bomb? Out, bring it out. In, in, out. Again, if you have a bad back, one leg is down on the ground. This is one of my favorite, favorite core exercises. I love, they do you like your lover. Lovers, it makes it a lot harder. Two more like that. Here's two, one more here. Hold it here, hold, but not your breath. Hold, hold. Here's four, three, two, and one. Hello, four, how are you today? Okay. I would love it if your legs were up. Think about windshield wipers in the car. We're gonna drop your legs one way. And you can't go down very far before you fall that side and then go the other way. I would love it if your head stays on the ground. If not, it could strain your neck. I don't ever want to strain your neck. These are a windshield wiper. Oh my gosh, core. Yes, and you should feel it in your obliques as those legs drop side to side. And drop. Beautiful work. We'll do both two sets for both of these to finish up before we stretch. Go one more time each way. Yes, I can feel it so much. I actually love these as well. One more. Hug your chest, hug that chest. Okay, back to the knees, to the hands to the knees, bad back, one leg on the ground. Out for two, in for two, here we go. Out, out, in, bring it out. Out, in, out, bring it out. Bring it out. Four more like that. Four more. Here's three. Two more right here. We're gonna hold the last one because it's so much fun. Hold it here, but not your breath. Lean up with those heels. Hold. Might get sh be shaky. It's really normal. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it. Excellent work. Okay. Last one, windshield wipers. Here we go. We're gonna go four each way, that's it. And you're breathing, please 
please don't hold your breath. Your lips are not allowed to be pursed. Those muscles need the oxygen as those legs are dropping. <laughs> oh, you can, you can hear it in my voice, yes. Last one right here. Breathe, please breathe out, please breathe out. And that is it. I'm gonna turn the music off. It's time to stretch. Okay. I hope you feel great because that was head to toe. We worked everything, including the core. Let's do a quick stretch now. Grab onto your knees and gently roll side to side. Please know that every minute you spend on yourself is worth it and your health. I, I liken it to um, when you're a little kid, you put coins in a piggy bank, arms up to the sides, drop your knees one way, and you save up your coins, right? Bring them in the bank. Every minute you spend on your health, you're putting that into a piggy bank, and that's your health. And there's never, I only worked out for so-and-so today. It's every minute spent is a good investment in your health. So please don't ever think, I only have five minutes or 10 minutes. That time spent is 100% worth it. And let's come up and over to the other side. And breathe. Your obliques right now should be going, oh, thank you. Thank you. And please, please, please don't ever skip the stretch. Your muscles worked hard today and they really need that stretch at the end. And breathe. I hope you feel amazing in your own skin, really. We are so hard on ourselves that after you work out, you should be giving yourself a pat on the back and saying, hey, great job, because you did do a great job. Let's rock yourself up. A little bit in those knees. I want you to come down, just to wherever your hamstrings say, that's good. It's different for everybody. You can touch your toes. You can walk your hands down, excuse me, to your ankles, wherever it's comfortable for you. You'll probably feel this in your low back as well because they're connected. Um, there's no uh, prizes for getting down really low. It's whatever feels best for your body. This is really just a, oh, thank you, body. Thank you for working so hard. I have found in all my years that consistent stretching has been great for uh, preventing injuries, for preventing being stiff, um, for waking up and not having a lot of aches and pains. And I do attribute that to regular stretching for the last pretty much 40 years or so. And let's come on up, cross those legs. Put your right fingertips on the ground and tilt your head to the left. Hello, neck. How does that feel? Oh. So we spend so much time in forward flexion with our neck, looking down at our phones and our computers. This is always a nice way to end a workout or even when you need a quick stretch in the middle of the day. When you put that opposite hand down in a way, oh, that really intensifies that stretch. Now let's bring your chin to your chest, never to your back, please, please, please. Switch sides, oof. Now my left fingertips are on the ground. And I want you to breathe into where you feel it. For me, it's right here. Try to get that breath right into that neck. You feel accomplished and proud of yourself. Let's bring that head up. Now I want you to bring your chin to your chest, hands behind you. Bring those shoulders down and away. This should be a night, a great shoulder stretch for working. Gosh, we did tricep and we did. The plank tricep works your shoulders a little bit. Now bring those arms up behind you. Oh boy, that feels so, so good. And let's release that. Bring those arms out to the front, round your shoulders and your back. You gotta take a great big deep breath up and bring it up and bring it out. And my favorite way to end is to have your hands on your knees. We're gonna bring our shoulders up almost to our ears Take a deep breath up and then let it out. 
Okay, I want you to close your eyes for me. You can look on the first one, but after that, close your eyes. Deep breath up, shoulders all the way up. Let it go. How good does that feel? Two more times. Are you big deep breath up? And let it go. Let's do one more. Great, big deep breath up. And let it go. Hey, thank you so much for spending the time with